Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Saturday, August the 6th, 2011. And looking here at a weekly chart of the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs, uh, which fell almost 7.2% last week on a very ugly week on big volume, uh, slicing through all the previous lows that were made this year, uh, one here back in June and the other one back here in early March. So uh, just taking out everything, all the key moving averages, all in one fell swoop this week on and like I said, big volume. And here's a chart of the uh, S&P 500, and it was down 7.15%, slicing through everything as well on tremendous volume, biggest down volume, uh, uh, weekly down volume uh, in a long time, uh, well over a year here. Uh, and uh, the uh, S&P 500 closed well below the previous lows that were made in 2011, and made some lows that took us back here into November of 2010 so S&P 500 broad index looking back and here's a daily chart of the uh, NASDAQ 100 the QQQs and you can see Friday's ugly ugly day here on tremendous volume all these distribution days uh, this is uh, um, uh, in uh, large investors just dumping stock here uh, you can see um, uh, here on Wednesday uh, actually on Tuesday slicing through the key moving averages the green line the 100 day the blue line the 50 day moving average uh, and then uh, uh, here on Wednesday, uh, breaching the all-important 200-day moving average, which absolutely uh, offered a, a very little uh, uh, resistance here, and uh, uh, slicing that and taking that one out and closing below it on Thursday. And then uh, on Friday, we opened up a bit and then came slamming right back down uh, to fresh new lows for the year uh, to close uh, back up here about mid-range. So very, very ugly day on Friday. And here is the Russell 2000 small caps uh, down even more, down 10.5% uh, last week. Here's a weekly chart of it. and You can see it taking out all the key moving averages, all the support lines. There is absolutely no support left in any of these indexes, really. They're all below their 200-day moving averages. And um, what we're, uh, what a lot of investors were talking about is is uh, the head and shoulders formations that these indexes were making. Now, you can see that this would be the right, I'm sorry, the left shoulder here, and then we uh, uh, pulled back and then came up to a new high here, uh, forming the head, pulled back and then came up, forming this right shoulder here, uh, which did not take out uh, the top of the, of the head here, and then this is your neckline. You draw a line between the uh, the previous uh, uh, dips here and uh, that's your neckline and uh, uh, we breached that so um, the head and shoulders pattern uh, in this chart has failed which is a very bearish indicator now during corrections we choose uh, not to make new purchases and to uh, sell any weak acting stocks very quickly and this will protect you from uh, from large losses and also we don't get tempted into uh, bottom fishing you know uh, trying to buy uh, dips uh, hoping that we'll get a big rebound uh, we wait for the markets to tell us when they're reconfirming an uptrend and uh, have patience and wait till then. Uh, these corrections are very nasty and uh, you know uh, if you get caught in them with uh, you know on margin or heavily invested uh, they can do a lot of damage to your portfolio and also to your psyche as a trader you know uh, make you very gun shy in trading uh, when when good opportunities do come around again which they always do uh, no matter how bad this gets there's always going to be some some nice big rallies and actually get your best rallies uh, uh, you know during um, uh, you know bear markets these bear market rallies can be very substantial but they will confirm a new uptrend and uh, there will be some stocks uh, good stocks breaking out of sound bases uh, and opportunities for us to get back aboard but right now it's very very difficult and even before this uh, correction uh, got underway the markets were very choppy and very difficult to trade so um, it's best to uh, to uh, remain very cautious uh, during this period obviously